there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links pack opening video extravaganza. Uh, now, I'm going to have to be very quiet because the people in my house are sleeping. It's very late right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to whisper the whole time. Anyway, as you can see in the top right corner, I have just enough gems to uh, open our usual 30 packs. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, let me give you uh, my plan of action here. So, I've never drawn from Flame of the Tyrant before. So, I am going to open 10 packs from Flame of the Tyrant to start. If my pulls are garbage and I'm not really feeling the luck, I am going to then switch over to Valkyrie's Rage. However, even if I am feeling lucky, uh, I'm going to switch over to Valkyrie's Rage anyway after 20 packs. So either way, we're going to end up hitting both Valkyrie's Rage and Flame of the Tyrant today. But Flame of the Tyrant's what we're going to start with, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Alright, let's see what kind of stuff we get. A Mystical Shine Ball. That's kind of good. Sword Hunter. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle and sent it to the graveyard, equip those monsters from the graveyard to... Oh, very interesting. So if it kills an enemy, it gains attack if you have room in your spell, in your back row. I don't know. It's really not that great. It would be used more if it was as good as it sounded, but it doesn't even sound that good. Warrior Dying Griefer on the first one. Oh my goodness. This is a very uh, sought after card. Uh, a lot of people pull and pull to get this. 1700 attack, 1600 defense, normal monster. Pretty solid. I thought it I was under the impression it was a super rare, but apparently it's just a rare. Which kind of pu puts into question why uh, Axe Raider is an ultra rare. But whatever. Worm bait. Activate only if you control a face-up insect type monster. Special summon two worm tokens to your side of the field. I cannot normal or special summon level three or four monsters the turn I activate this card. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess maybe it's good for tribute summons or if you have some kind of spell with a condition that you have an insect type, uh, type card on your field. Uh, maybe with arsenal bug you could use it. So I can see how it could come in use, but it's not extremely useful, which is probably why it's not very rare. Firestorm Prominence, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all face down non-fire monsters. It's the same uh, reptile archetype, this time, this one's with uh, fire monsters. Uh, so I think I, I have all of them by now, right? I have the wind one, the light one, the water one. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a fire monster. Not bad at all. Uh, especially when combined with the uh, seven star fire monster that we just got. Blast Asmodian. If any spell or trap cards are changed and inflict 500 damage to your opponent, that's evil. <laughs> you could combine this with a bunch of counter traps and really troll your opponent. Uh, I don't think it's viable for like a burn deck or anything, but it's kind of funny. You could tribute one face up fire monster to inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each fire monster in your graveyard. Alright, uh, you could build some kind of whack deck around this, I'm sure. There's some way to summon easy fire monsters. Trojan Horse, when tribute summoning an earth monster, you can treat this one monster as two tributes. Alright, this one's actually pretty good, because instead of 1500 attack, 1600 defense, it's 1600 attack, 1200 defense. And attack is, in most cases, better than defense. So, better than the other uh, double tribute monsters. Not as good as double cost on, but still. Empress Mantis, queen, queen of a... Oh, it's just a normal monster. But, it's only... It's 6 stars, so you, can, you only need one tribute to summon it, and it has 2200 attack twin type insect uh, you could it has a lot of synergy with stuff iron blacksmith kotetsu add one equipped spell card from your deck to your hand that's pretty solid um, 
especially if you have one of the guardians that you need uh, their equip on the field to summon. It's pretty useful. Little Chimera. All fire monsters on the field gain 500 attack. All water monsters on the field lose 400 attack. So it's one of those elemental helpers. The problem with these is they're not as good as they sound because uh, they get eliminated from the field pretty quickly. Uh, even with the boost of fire monsters, it only has 1100 attack. It will get wiped. Firestorm Prominence. And another the Trojan Horse. Okay, so uh, if I have any earth monsters, I guess. Now I have a way to summon them more easily. Cosmo Queens, Queen of the Galaxies and Mistress of the Stars. Pretty good uh, if you have... It's better than Dark Magician. It's like a better Dark Magician, basically. Except you can't summon it all the crazy ways with, like, Sage's Stone and stuff. Uh, so, maybe not as good as Dark Magician, now that I'm thinking about it. Firebird, each time a winged beast-type monster on your side of the field is destroyed, this card gains 500 attack. Oh, shoot. There's some stuff you could do with this. Hmm. I guess it would, it would be too fast. Or, I mean, you would need a way to speed up the process a little, because you need to destroy two winged beast-type monsters, and that's a lot. Uh... So, maybe if you tributed to Winged Beast, no, because then there wouldn't even, it, it's hard, it's hard. Uh, I can see it being useful in very awkward scenarios. Possess a Dark Soul, this is a good one. Uh, it's a counter to Relinquish, you could tribute it and take control of all level, all face-up level 3 or level monsters your opponent currently controls. And if you don't have room for them, they go straight to the graveyard. So, that is pretty nice. Cosmo Queen. Sword of the Soul Eater. You can only equip this card to a level 3 or lower normal monster on your side of the field. When you activate this card, tribute all normal monsters on your side of the field except the equipped monster. Increase the attack of the equipped monster. Ooh, that's nasty. That's absolutely disgusting. Uh, the only problem is that you have to tribute hella monsters to use it. Trojan Horse. Although, combined with a uh, Mystical Shine Ball, that might not actually be an issue, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh my goodness, we got it! Uh, this is a very useful card, because it special summons Mystical Shine Balls, so you can tribute them for effects such as the one from the Equip spell we just pulled. This is excellent. Uh, the only problem is that you need more than one, and that's probably not going to happen uh, in, in this pool. Oh, on, in these pools alone. Dark Effigy, you can treat it as two tributes. Okay, not bad. Combine it with Cosmo Queen, bam, you got a 2900 attack after one tribute. Not bad. Uh, but Double Cost on does the same thing, except it has better stats. So this is basically a non viable card. Twin Headed Fire Dragon. So it's a pyro type, and it's six stars. So, I mean, uh, if you have like an element dragon, this is probably a useful monster to have. You could just tribute, and then gain five hundred attack with your element dragon. Hmm, a fusion with possess a dark soul and frontier wise man. So you can't use the fusion substitutes. You can pay 1,000 life points to negate a normal spell card, and it's not affected by uh, any effects of monsters you destroy. So, pretty good. The only thing is uh, the condition to fuse it, but that, that's not bad if you have three, three of both of the materials. Another Trojan Horse. We're about to have way too many of those. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. Alright, these were... I, I think we're going to go for another 10 of these, because these were fantastic pulls. I really like the way this is going, so... Lady Luck is smiling down upon me right now. Let's go. Insect Princess. Princess. While this card is face-up on the field, battle positions of all face-up insect 
Type monsters on your opponent's side of the field are changed into attack position. Each time it destroys an insect type monster, it increase the attack of this card by 500 points. Okay, this seems like it's garbage, right? But when it, you combine it with uh, Parasect Parasite or whatever that card is called that changes all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field to insect type monsters, it's actually pretty solid. The only the only hold up. The only hang-up is that it's 6 star, so you need to tribute. But, I guess if you have the right support cards, it has its use. Burning Spear, Fire Monster, increases attack by 400, decreases defense by 200. I hate these cards, because they're not even useful, except for beginners. I guess if you're a beginner, that's a pretty good card to have. But, uh, if you're me, you have cards that increase by 500 with no, no downsides. Poke Draco. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Poke Draco from your deck to your hand. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to thin your deck a little bit, but these stats are absolutely abysmal for a three star, so I'm not putting this in any deck. <laughs> and another Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Uh, th that's good because I I, I like that card. Um, has a lot of uses. Another insect princess, Flame Ogre. This cannot be special summoned when it's normal summon. Draw a card. Okay. Uh, it needs two tributes, which is the downside here, and it's weaker than <laughs> Summon Skull, which only needs one. So, uh, not extraordinary, extraordinarily good. I guess if you need to draw a card, uh, it could be useful. Another possessed Dark Soul. That's a good. That's a good pull right there. Blastasmodian, Little Chimera, Pinch Hopper. When a car when this card you control is sent to your graveyard, special summon one insect type monster from your hand. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh, does that include tribute summons? I wonder because if it does, you can literally tribute summon something like a uh, per uh one of those Gemini Mantises, whatever they're called, and then uh you can. Summon another insect type monster, like a giant flea, for instance. Alright, not bad. Uh, I know it's actually. Pinch Hopper is actually pretty useful for farming, too, so. It's a good pull. Ryu Senshi, Warrior Die Grafer plus Spirit Ryu. A fusion summon of this monster can only be conducted. Oh, it's the same thing as uh, the. Uh, the Possessed Dark Soul one, same type of effect. Very curious. Flames of Ridiculous, Dark Effigy, and Burning Spear. Okay. Ooh, we got the glow. Let's see what's going on with this. Cosmo Queen. Firestorm Prominence, a trap card. Hmm. Golden Apples! This is a great card. Uh, it, it's basically an extra line of defense. Uh, and it could really screw your opponent over if you use it at the right time. Especially if you, if you combine it with a field spell. Uh, Yami, actually, is what you should uh, combine it with. Sort of the soul unit. Frontier Wise Man. Alright, that's the other fusion material for that one guy. Negate any spell effects that target a warrior type monster you control. And if you do, destroy that card. Okay. Uh, not a lot of spells that, uh, target your opponent's monsters individually, but I guess if you have, if you're up against one of those, that's a pretty useful card. <laughs> Alright, we have three of these now, so, <laughs> if, if I ever wanted an equip deck, uh, I, I have a way to do it, which is fantastic. Blesses Modi and Flame Ogre, and Spirit Ryu! Alright. You can only activate this effect during your battle step. If this card battles during your if this card battles during your turn, discard one dragon type monster from your hand to the graveyard to increase the attack and defense of this card by a thousand points until the end step. Um Alright, this used to be really useful for farming for some reason. <laughs> uh now they've patched out the AI exploit that it worked based off. So right now it's just kind of a meteor ogre monster. But, I'm so glad I have one. 
you know, any new card is good. You never know when you're going to need something that you originally thought was garbage. All right, now we're going to switch over to Valkyrie's Rage for our last uh, 10 packs. Uh, as you can see, I've pulled quite a bit, but I still have yet to get the Do Name's Dark Witch. This is the one I really want. Uh, I would also like some copies of uh, The Unhappy Girl, which is this card. Uh, just because it's godlike for farming. Uh, I'm not really pulling for anything else other than those two, but we might get interesting stuff if we get lucky anyway. So, here's hoping. I am dead broke on gems after this, so it's going to be a little while till the next episode. Apologies for that. Gradius's option. Eh. Limit impulse. Eh. Fairy meteor crush. Eh. Man, these cards, huh? Straight flesh. Eh. Twin-headed wolf. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are the worst pulls ever. Oh, man. Not what I was hoping for so far, but maybe we'll get something good. Lord British Space Fighter, <laughs> Needle Ball, and Dream Sprite. Oh no, <laughs> this is a disaster. This is absolutely killing me. An Abba White Rabbit, okay, good for a spirit deck. Theban Nightmare, when you have no cards in your hand, nor in your tr spell and trap zones, this card gains 1500 attack. <laughs> Alright, I can see this This could have its uses. Uh, it's kind of hard to activate its condition, though, which is probably why it's not used very often. And Veil of Darkness. Limit Impulse. Dark Mirror Force. If this was regular Mirror Force, this would be an excellent card, but, uh... It has to be the Dark Variety. Oh my goodness. Where'd all my luck go? <laughs> Here it is. Something good. Twin-Headed Wolf. Reckless Rebirth. Dark Mana... Oh, the Glows lied to me. It's just garbage. There is no way these pulls were this bad. I cannot believe this. Masked Sorcerer. Caligo Claw Crow. Alright, I did need a third one of those, but... Like, not for a reason, just... For the sake of having three. Alright, let's hope these glows aren't a lie this time. Beast Rage. Soul Exchange! Yes! It's all worth it. Everything I just complained about, I take it all back. This was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Yes, I got a soul exchange. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> my whole life has taken a positive turn after that. <laughs> and a shadow bird crow too. Okay. Oh, is this the last pack? I thought that was 10, but I guess maybe this is 10. Oh, and we got the Rainbow Glow and the Karibos. Aw, oh, I'm feeling another Ultra Rare. Moisture Creature, Monster Recovery, Cyber Raider. When this card is summoned, activate one of these effects. Target and equip this card and destroy it. Equip or equip it to yourself. Wow. Okay. This certainly has its uses. Um, I'm not sure if it justifies super rare, and I was kind of expecting an ultra rare after all that flashiness, but, you know, still not a bad pull. Okay, wow, okay, so we got Soul Exchange, and that made this all worth it. All this garbage, <laughs> it's all worth it. Ah, we got a Soul Exchange. Let's go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, pack opening. I think I'm getting a little better at the commentary for these, so if you disagree with me, be sure to let me know by sending me hate in the comments, and thank you so much for wasting your time by watching these terrible videos. Peace out, girl.